Hello everybody, this is Nanduram and we are from Sonu Academy. Today we are going to discuss about Environmental Studies Class 4 CBSC Syllabus. The topic name is Defense Officer Wahida. Children, have you ever seen her photograph anywhere? Yes, she is a Commander Wahida Prism, doctor in the Indian Navy. She is one of the famous women who has worked on a naval ship. She is the first woman to lead a pride. This is considered to be a very big honor in the army forces. We specially spoke to Wahida for this book. Let us read what we spoke to Wahida. We asked the first question. Wahida, tell us something about your childhood and school. She answered for this question is, I come from a small village called Tanmandi. This is in Rajori, district of Jammu and Kashmir. I did my schooling from a government school. Most of the girls from the village studied in my school. However, few of them even thought of what they would do after finishing school. I always want to become someone special and move forward in life. I was very interested in higher studies and wanted to complete the 10th class. In my area, it was a new thing at the time. My mother and father had to face many problems because of this. We even had to move out of our village. We then went to live with my grandmother in Rajori. I did my 12th class from there. Then we asked the second question. So you always thought different right from the beginning? She said, yes, even when I was very young, I want to do something different. It was very proud of riding a motorcycle. We are three sisters. My father wanted one of us to become a doctor and one a teacher. He wanted that third daughter to become a lawyer or join the police forces. I have become a doctor in the Indian Navy and my sister is in the Jammu police forces. Then we asked another question. How did you become a doctor? She said, I worked very hard. My friends and my family members helped me a lot. I got admission in Jammu Medical College. I studied for 5 years and did my MBBS. Again we ask another question. How did you get into the defense forces? Did not your family stop you? She answered that, Oh no, they felt that a job in the forces would be the best thing for me. When I was very small, I would see many army, army officers in our village. I wanted to be like them. This was really a very big dream for me. While in a school, I attended campus, climbing mountains and was a girl guide. After I became a doctor, I appeared for an interview to join the army forces. I got selected there and received a training for 6 months. Then again we asked another question. Why did you join the Indian Navy? Do you not have to live on the naval ship? She said, well, I am very Found of traveling. I like to see different places. I want to go far off places. I was born in the hills and now I am working in sea. I really enjoy it. Very few lady officers have worked on a ship. I am also one of the member in that. Earlier women were not allowed to go on the naval ships. When an opportunity was given, I myself went forward and gave my name. I even want to join in a submarine. I want to do everything which people think women cannot do. At present, women are not allowed to go in submarines. But whenever it is allowed, I will certainly go. Again, we asked another question. So what happened to your degree of MBBS? She said that I am a doctor. But in Indian Navy, a naval doctor does not just give a medicine to patients. She is in fact a medical officer. The ship goes to sea for 3 to 4 months at a time. There, it is my responsibility to make sure that everybody on the ship stays fit and healthy. I carry out a medical checkups of all the officers and sailors. And I also have to make sure the cleanliness is maintained on the ship. I have to ensure that no garbage collects and there are no rats on the ships. Rats and garbages can spread diseases. I must keep everybody ready for any medical emergency on the ship. In case there is an accident on the ship, means like fire, everybody must be ready to deal with it. 
So we ask another again another question. Is there is a hospital on the ship? She said yes. The first aid is given on every naval ship. Each ship has one doctor and two or three assistants. Necessary medicines and some equipments are also available. All these three things are kept in a small room. So again we put a question. You are the first woman to lead a pride. You must have worked very hard for this. She said yes. My seniors gave this opportunity to me after seeing my performance for three years. I felt happy that they had chosen me and showed faith in me. So I practiced very sincerely. She answered in parade four pelotons march behind the leader. Thirty-six commands have to be given during the entire of entire parade. This must be given in a very loud loud voice so that it is heard till the rear. The voice should also reach the specter sitting on the other side of the ground also. So again we ask a question. You did not feel nervous leading your pelotons? She said that I was not nervous because one has to shout 36 commands. If you forgot even one, the entire parade can get spoiled. I practiced every morning and evening for a month. But I have been practicing in the parade parrot since the school also so last and finally we put a question to the ahida that what is the meaning of the word prism in your name she gave the answer my father gave this name to me a prism is a kind of glass which reflects seven colors my father wanted me to be like a prism and that is why she started calling me by the name of my childhood itself Children, this is the great story what we learnt about our Indian Honor Woman, Commander Vahida Prisam, Doctor in Indian Navy. Thank you. This is Nanduram and we are from Sono Academy.